This is going to be a short uh, overview of doing curved roofs. I know these aren't very popular and there's not much documentation on doing them. And I'm sure that there are other ways to do this. But this is just something that I've found is the easiest way to do it. Um, so here's one on the on the right here that I've already done. Um, this is not supposed to be an attractive curved roof. It's just something to show a demonstration. And over here on the left, I've got something started. And so I've just drawn a couple roof planes. These are came in at the default uh, 12 pitch. And then over here, I've got a um, CAD detail from view, and I've just drawn a couple of CAD lines to represent the roof. And I find that doing this is the simplest way of getting the, the measurements and, and things that you need. So this line right here, that just goes from this right side to where these two that roof and that roof are going to join and so over here in plan that's that line right there so that just gives me a, a location of this ridge and this line is just uh, basically the cord of this arc and you can use the angular dimension tool to get the pitch. So in this case, it's five and five eighths. So I can come back over here and plan. And I can put in five and five eighths. And then you can see how that changed. And then if you select this this arc, you can get the radius 189 and a half. So if I select this roof plane, I make it a curved roof. 189 and a half. I'm going to change the facet angle down to 2 just to make it uh, look a little better. And so there's the there's the curve that mimics that CAD line. And if we look um, here, I've uh, I've duplicated that CAD line and, and turned it red so you can see how the roof follows the CAD line in, in this example. And then back over here, we'll open this up, get the ridge 184 and 3 eighths. Ninety four and three eighths. That pitch is going to be wrong, but that doesn't matter. So you see how that's set. So back over here, I'll just draw a couple of lines. We'll join that and that, and then there. We'll use this. Set that to pitch. Five and a sixteenth. I'm going to lock the ridge. Five and the sixteenth. And 
And then again, we can go here, 67 and 3 quarters for the radius. Curved roof. I'm going to make this one one. And there's our curved roof. And I would join these two roof planes manually. But I think that's the, the simplest way. And of course, if you if one of these, you know, sometimes these curved roofs might might curve this way. So it's the same basic thing. Um, if you if you you know they've got this angle at eve and angle at ridge these are never really explained i'm sure there's a simple explanation for these but I don't know what it is. These are more, these are more, I think what you would see these, these lower, Lower sloped roofs that are just a single curved roof plane, so 